What's going on YouTube? Dave back again. And today we have another spinner review. And this one, hmm, could this one be the new best plastic spinner that I've found on Amazon? Quite possibly. Now, I actually ended up getting this in the mail this morning at work because that's where I had it shipped to just to ensure that the postman did not just toss on my doorstep and someone else has gone with it. And I was super excited to get this. I've actually seen a couple different places selling a version of this. I think it all depends on who the seller is and how they're repackaging it. But I believe this is from an original seller that is on Amazon. Links will be down in the description. Not only that, but I had a nice discussion with the seller on Amazon and he is going to be providing a discount code of 20% for you guys down below. As soon as it's active, go ahead and hit that up. The code is going to be Dave Save, unless something ends up happening and it changes. But otherwise, it's going to be all in caps, D-A-V-E. S-A-V-E, and that will get you 20% off on this on Amazon. Now, looking over the packaging, packaging is actually pretty nice. Uh, of course, coming from Amazon, it came in a bubble wrap package, so nothing too fancy with there, but the seller doesn't have control over that because, well, that's how Amazon ends up grabbing it off the shelf and shipping it out. On this side, you've got work, class, home, and I have to say, for the packaging, it's actually pretty nice considering I've received some high-end spinners around $100, $110 that just came wrapped in some paper, some bubble wrap, and thrown in an envelope. So, uh, hey, sometimes cheaper can be better. And you got a picture of the design on here and a nice window on here. Now, it does appear that the seller only has this in black. Opening it up. Sliding out the tray, we'll just put that over there, preferably without all the glare on it. We'll pop this out. Now I do have to say, when I got this in the mail, it's a little dirty because I've been freaking playing with it all day. And I love this thing. Now, let me tell you, straight out of the package, um, I did this on my desk at work while I was seeing patients. I kicked on the timer on my phone, set it up, did a table spin, I got almost four minutes straight out of the package. Now this does have a R188 bearing in there and you may be able to hear it as it's spinning right now. The table kind of magnifies it, especially with the microphone being right over. But in your hand, this thing is pretty much silent. What is super cool, I'm gonna take you up close, show you all the good parts on this. All right, taking a look on here. Now this is out of a plastic material. It has a great texture on there. If you're someone that loves to rub on it, you've got four holes on each side here just for aesthetics. And you have six large ball bearings on each side. But what is really awesome is these are movable. They just kind of float in there if you can see how they move around and I kept catching myself doing this with them in my pocket spin again is really silent that was with it up next to the microphone um, like I said I've had some high-end spinners that have been much louder you have some texture over here on the sides the buttons have a nice curvature and texture to them. I've never felt like it was going to slip. Any of you guys that are friends with me on Facebook saw that I posted up a great warp video of this this afternoon. And damn, look at my cuticles. Those things look horrible. I can't really do anything about it. Um, all right, so let's tear this apart. Taking this apart, I would suggest just taking something like a small flathead screwdriver and lightly prying the buttons up. They are super tight in here, which is a good thing. It means it's not gonna fall apart. So there's button number one. There is nothing, nothing I hate more than a spinner that the buttons just fall out of it. And I have one that I'll be reviewing later this week that that is the case. Now, as you can see, here we have this grabbing a trusty Phillips Phillips head screwdriver. We are just going to unscrew this and break this down completely for you. You have a screw on each side. Just use your fingernail to lightly 
pull this apart because you don't want to shoot the bearings everywhere. On each side, you're going to have a pin and an indent. And that's how this ends up locking together. Your bearing just sits in the center, just like so. And I will probably clean this after the review, but this just looks to be a full, full metal uh, R188 bearing. And then you have the six ball bearings. Now you can remove these out completely. You can have just one in each side. You can have just two on each side, whatever ends up kind of floating your boat and working. I think what I'm going to end up doing with this is modifying it and putting some glow um, epoxy in the holes just to give it some flare on here. But putting it back together. Now, while we are doing this, I'm going to talk about something. Again, earlier I mentioned I was speaking to the seller from Amazon on this. And uh, he did offer the code for my viewers of Dave Save, which will get you a 20% discount on this. So definitely hit that up. Um, he said it should be active sometime today, uh, whenever Amazon decides to kick that in. But not only that, he's going to send me a couple of these for a giveaway a little bit later down the road. For, so definitely stay tuned on that. I think right now this is retailing about $17.99. And then after the discount, I think that kicks it down to about $13. And if you have prime shipping, that's going to end up saving you even more on shipping. Pressing that all together. And then like I said, on this, I'm going to stick the glow powder with the epoxy in here. And I think that will look really good. All right. So you can find this on Amazon. It's the Gyromax Fidget Spinner. Again, link will be down in the description right down there. So definitely click on that. Check it out. Also, for you guys that are spinner enthusiasts, um, hey, I started a new a Facebook page and that is called Spin Life. There'll be a link down in the bottom. If you like spinners, if you're just interested in learning about them, seeing new designs, um, I'm trying to get as many uh, production people as possible in there as well that way you can be the first to see new items that are going to be coming out on the market um, both high end and affordable you know everyday spinners definitely click that link hit the join button you never know what i may be giving away down there um, in fact i will be giving one of these away as soon as they come in just for the group but i have to say after fidgeting with this for i don't know eight hours eight solid hours i love this thing and this is one of the things that i end up catching myself doing because those balls roll you can do this and the balls roll as you're as it's rolling across your finger uh, there's just something soothing about it but i think this may end up after the bearing is clean getting even more spin time out of it you get a little torque feedback doing that, but not very much. It's pretty tight in there. All right, YouTube, I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me, supporting these videos, definitely clicking those links, joining my groups, and all that good jazz. Um, definitely hang out. I will have more videos coming up, more contests. If you check out my last video, that's a contest that will be ending on, actually, I wasn't thinking about it, Easter Sunday. So we'll be giving away that spinner this weekend if you like these videos and you want to see more definitely click that subscribe button right up there to check out my last video definitely click right over there thanks for hanging out youtube i will see you guys all later peace out